Hello YouTube, how is A going? I am Hello Kitties, bringing you some hot potato oddball on this map that I don't know the name of. Um, I think there's like a map called The Cage that's like in the sky somewhere, but I don't really know. So I'm playing oddball, or hot potato, which where there's, there's a ball like in the middle. It's like a skull kind of thing, I don't know. And you have to grab it and you have to hold on to it as long as you can. And uh, for like each second or whatever, you'll get like a point. And, um, every, every once in a while it'll reset and kill whoever is holding it, and it'll go, uh, some random point on the map, and the team has to go and grab it, and, uh, hold on to it, and so, I'm playing it here, um, I'm new to Halo, uh, I'm new to, like, controls, I've re never really played it before, um, so this is, like, my third or fourth day playing Halo, and I'm actually not too bad at it, just taking strategy from Call of Duty, um, and kind of putting it here in Halo, um. I'm new to the Xbox controls. They're kind of big, kind of. I don't really. I'm not really sure. I kind of. I think I prefer the PS3 controllers. I'm gonna see. I haven't. I don't have Modern for two yet. I I have like a thirty-five dollar GameStop credit, so I need like twenty more bucks, and then I'll be able to buy Modern for two. And I'm gonna see how that kind of goes with the with the controls. Um. But so here I'm just playing with some randoms. Um. I figured, just out of my knowledge, I thought thought it would be smart to have the whole team use drop shields. Actually, I told one. I told um, for all of them except for one person to use drop shields, and that one person to use sprint. But actually, we all use drop shields, and it's actually three v four, and we still uh, bring the win. Just kind of communication. Uh, so actually, I don't even think. I think I was talking. Oh my god! So I think I was talking to my mic, and then um, it wasn't plugged into my controller, so I was like talking to nobody. But anyway, we all use drop shields anyway, so the, what you do here is you have your team put down drop shields. You have the person with the ball in the middle, in the, inside the drop shields. And so the, the enemy team can't shoot you, uh, but they can come in and shoot you, or like melee or whatever. So what the best thing to do is to have the person with the ball in there and have people around it. And if somebody from the other team gets inside the little force field, if you have the ball, you'll you'll if you melee them, it'll be a one-hit kill. So with like... Uh, the uh, swords and any objective item like flags or the oddballs, it's a one-hit kill. You know, you're not going to have the range of the plasma sword, but it's going to be a one-hit kill. So that's what makes it very difficult uh, to get past this strategy. So you just kind of stick in there and then whack them right when they uh, come in. And I put a drop shield down there just so after I'm chasing up this guy, I won't be shot from the back. And here's actually a pretty good strategy. He goes up around a corner where there's only one way up and just whacks people as they come up since it's a one-hit kill. Um, the problem with the bu the bubble sh the drop shield strategy is that if someone two people get in, you can uh, you can kill one of them, but if they're probably both gonna hit you. Because what happens a lot is when you get in battles, you kill people at the same time as they kill you when you hit them. So that's it's, it's kind of one of the problems with this. Um, you can't you can't use perks while you're holding the thing, so you can't sprint, you can't um, do armor lock. So um, you have to if you want to drop down a shield and you're holding the ball, you'll drop the ball. And you can just pick it right up. That works, but uh, you can't really you can't run with it. So you really you're really depending on your teammates to um, protect you and drop down shields for you. Okay, so I, that's basically my strategy for playing oddball. Uh, that's just what I've been doing for this, and then I've been winning all my oddball games as long as I've been with good people. So and right here, I'm pretty sure it like resets right after I pick it up. Um, anyway. So I just got Halo Reach a couple days ago. I like it. I prefer Call of Duty. Um, I got this, like I was planning on getting it, but I basically got it for free. Since I took in a bunch of stuff. I took in my Wii, and I took a bunch of Wii games, and I took Red Dead Redemption in. And I took all those stuff in, and so they said if I bought Halo Reach, um, which I was planning on doing, um, they'd give me a 25% increase on all my trade-ins. So I did that. I have the GameStop card, which is another like 10 or 20%, something like that. So I got a huge bonus for my stuff, and that's how I was able to buy the, the 250 gig Xbox, um, and also buy Halo Reach. Um, so I'm, I'm a fan of it, uh, I've, that's all I've been playing since my, it's my only game for Xbox. Uh, I've been, been been doing pretty good, um, the game type I do best in is probably free for all. Free for all objective games where you don't really have to worry about getting kills. But my strategy for this is like, uh, just kind of shoot them till, they're, till their shield's down and just whack them. That's just what I've been doing for all my kills. I rarely kill somebody with a gun. Just straight up gun. 
Um, and here you go. There's me whacking people, but then they're like a double team in me. So I, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. This is my strategy. Um, I typically just play objective games. Um, the best way to level up, I've noticed, as my friend told me, is to play the firefight. It's where you and it's a four four person thing, and it's like it's like a story mode. You're killing NPCs, like non playable characters, and so there's waves of them that keep coming. And um, if you do like rocket fight for every single one of them, you're gonna get a lot of XP. You're gonna get like over a thousand a game, which I've been doing, and you can get like a kill tax in the very beginning. But basically it's unlimited rocket ammo and like you have you can choose any perk you want. So I usually I always do uh jetpack. And so I jetpack and I after the the giant ships drop the enemies, I just shoot the rocket and just kill all of them. I'll get like a 7 and 1 and I'll get more points for that. So that's just a great way for been leveling up. It's not as fun, I've noticed. Um because you it's cooperative. It's not um killing other people. So I don't know, it gets kind of old same maps, you know. I just, I've, been, I've been having a lot of fun doing the, um, what do you call it, the uh, objective games. Capture the Flag is fun. Uh, Oddball is fun. A lot of them have stuff with flags, so you can, like, one-hit people with the flags. It's, it's fun. So, I, I don't know. If, you, if you're a fan of the Halo series, um, I'd say pick it up. I'm, I prefer playing Call of Duty right now, so I don't know. I assume most of you are picking it up anyway because it's the new hot thing. Oh, now I get assassinated. It's pretty gosh darn awesome. What you do is you uh, hold down the attack button when you're behind somebody and you know, do this, like, a motion kind of thing. Um, I don't really know what to say. That I've been having fun with it. I just had more fun. I'd have more fun with Call of Duty. Oh, the perks, I just maybe go. There's uh, Armor Lock. It's where you, like, put your fist in the ground. And basically, you're unhurtable and you're, arm and you're over shield. Basically, all the health work is you have a shield and you have your health. The health doesn't grow back. But your um, shield will. So they have to get through your shield before they can get to your health. And right here, my health goes, goes back, and sometimes it doesn't. I really, I really don't know what the deal is with that. But um, So you have, the, you have the armor lock where you can't be hurt, and you can also have your shield grow back while you're like in that state. Um, you have jet packs. You can turn invisible. But you won't be invisible if you're like moving. So you'll be like slightly invisible, like transparent, but it's not really doing anything. If you crouch... If you're crouched, you can, like, move around and stay fully invisible. Like, you can kind of see where the person is. Um, there's, uh, where you can make, like, a duplicate of yourself. Where, like, this weird, like, hologram comes out. And, yeah. Anyway, end of the game. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed.